Jeff Dynamite. Now you guys may be asking, was that supposed to be this past Saturday? And the answer was yes, it was supposed to be this past Saturday, September 5th. And you guys are probably like, well, it's three. It's September 8th, so, so wouldn't it be logical to make it the next day? The next Saturday? Yes, but I still have to get this past episode out to bring in Season 2, Episode 2. Now y'all maybe look at me and saying, well, yes and no, but the answer is yes. As tonight, we got some f incredible matchups for you. As as you see right now, Deku's going to be taking on the minion as Deku accepted the challenge laid down by minion for the IC title. And of course, a little bit, and of course, the sumo will be in action defending that hardcore championship in a ladder match against whoever steps up. It is for the Intercontinental Championship. As there's Deku. This is awesome. And yet the match hasn't even begun yet. Could the minion manage to beat Deku, or will Deku beat Minion? It's all really good to find that out here. And of course, a little bit later on in the card, it will be a main event of Bullet Club versus Death Note. Obviously, Minion, you're gonna, I'm gonna have to g give you custom side plates because this game's glitching out from your current side plates. I'm gonna have to give you different ones. Now, granted, now as it stands right now. Every pay-per-view that was supposed to be, obviously, is postponed until the next time around. So, as anybody would know, that's, that's a cut few pay-per-views that are pushed back. Yes, that impact was deadly, but in the same sense, will you be able to win? Are you going to be able to win, win everything? Because that's the big thing. As I know, Deku's getting his ass kicked, but isn't that what happens in the anime anyway? <laughs> I mean, as you know, I've obviously watched the anime before. Which, you know, is actually like really big, as you guys know. If you guys want to go ahead and suggest some animes, it's fine if you want to. Or if you guys just want to give me feedback on the episodes, let me know. It, it's all in good fun here. As obviously we're on the road to Golden Clash, which will be every title on the line. So, our last review was WTF in the Bank, Armageddon, and Havoc, and Bash at the Beach. Those reviews will be, will kind of be sort of on the next time around when we get to them because I had to get up to the, I had to do the illusion of the fact that I couldn't put everybody in the 
Dang. So that's how that works. So I had to kind of, I based off of real life events. That's why that guy took like the pause between the last episode and this episode to kind of make it look like, you know, what the heck's going on in the world happened. But yeah, with Golden Clash right around the corner, there's only a certain percentage of things that could happen. But will it happen or will it fail to succeed? Yeah, but Deku isn't gonna be like that easily of a go down. Because uh, because Deck it's gonna take a while for just Deku to do it. But now, as you guys were probably saying, oh, well, you know, well, Deku, well, I mean, not Deku, um, so yeah, I should have just wait, yeah, I should have just done, like, the two straight paper, all the paper views, and then come back with the show, and then build a do build up for Golden Clash. No, that's not, that's not, I wouldn't have had time to do both, pay, all, three paper views. And the build up for Golden Clash because I would have only had like one week of build up for Golden Clash because we would have done it. Because if it would have worked out the way it worked out, because I would have done two pay per views in one week, so and then after that, a pay per view in two, three, and Mini Entertains over Deku in a decent match. What a way to kick off the show, though. But yeah, as you guys may have noticed. So yeah, the next pay view is Golden Clash, so we're going to have to f now find out who's going to be the, we're going to have to find out number one contenders to those titles. Minions going to have to get number one contender, Sumo's going to have to get two number one contenders, because if you guys don't remember, the Sumo is the United States and Hardcore Champion doing his things. <laughs> As obviously as it's right now, we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a tag team match as the women will kick off their long way of return here. As the females will kick in. As for the females, it will be Rem and Ram. Obviously making their return. Taking on the team of Rhea Grimmery from the House of Grimmery and Mari Rose. Again, this is and then obviously next week you'll have Mari Ro we'll have Mari Rose versus Rhea Grimmery, but tonight they're t they're teaming together for a match. So how's this gonna play out for the effect of them going on for the next round for the next you know you know how's it gonna play out? Because you have really good effects on everything.
But yeah. But no. As not only do we have that tag team match, this tag team match, but there will be for me, me and Hannah will be in a mixed tag match against a certain team a little bit later. Joker and Pozivy are gonna be in the mixed tag team match later on. And obviously, so will be the YouTube champion. Pretty much there's going to be a, few, a lot of action on this card, as everybody may have known. Rams now in here. Obviously, Deku, Rhea, Deku and Rhea so far are like, making their debuts on this card. And here comes Rhea Grimmery From the House of Grimmery. Really? You <laughs> hit that, that on the ant nose? To be honest, she's from hell because she's a demon from the one anime. Which isn't a bad anime. I actually really do like that anime. And Mari Rose from the Dead or Alive franchise. Which, those are pretty good games. Dead or Alive. But now, here's the qu now here raises the question. How much is this going to affect? Yeah, here we go. How much is it going to affect everything? Yeah, but... Obviously, as you guys may have known, some people that are in, on the card have already made their matchups, obviously... Now, obviously, there's gonna be there's gonna be another person making their debut. Uh, obviously, this is the show of okay. Let's get the first cut time debuts out of the way for next week's some big, more bigger names returning. Obviously, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, we got Team Death Note, and we got the Bullet Club. Obviously, the Bullet Club team will be, we obviously, G.O.D., well, G.O.D. with Jay White, taking on Light, L, and Ryuk. Now, granted, if you guys have not seen the Death Note anime, that's basically what it is. They tried to do a live, they did two live action ones I've seen in an anime movie. The, the, the first live action one was okay. The anime movie, which took place, which came out the year after the anime ended, same thing with the first live action movie, that was fine. Then Netflix tried to make their own adaptation of it. And the only good thing about the 2017 Death Note was the fact that for Ryuk, they got Willem Dafoe to play Ryuk. But yeah, here on WTF Dynamite, anything could appear, anything could happen. But yeah, as everything is gonna happen, as tonight, the women's IC title is on the line. As Harley will be taking on the current women's IC champion. But yeah, obviously, what a lot of people fail to realize is that you obviously don't want to be on the wrong side of it. Especially when they're coming after you. Like, that's like your biggest thing. That's like a big no-no. 
because Reese can come after you without even having to be near you because that whole her demon power Rhys is known to just fucking be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna come after you with my demon powers. And obviously, and what I'm being told is that one of the contender, obviously the contender for the United States Championships here, So obviously what like that means is that the is that obviously obviously defending the United States title is gonna be an option. One, two, and I kick out of two. Yeah. Obviously, the United the women's United States will be on the line also, as Himoko as Toga will be taking on the current United States women's United States champion. And now some people may be saying Toga. Who the heck is Toga? Toga is from the same anime as. Deku in the My Hero Universe. As Toga is actually a fucking person you don't want to fuck with because she will come in after you and manage to beat you. Because Deku. Deku's part of the UA. Class 1A. As Toga is part of the League of Villains. Now granted, you may, obviously you're going to see some anime characters appear. And you know, as, you, as if you guys know me personally, you know that anime is one of my favorites besides video games, baseball, etc. But, but yeah. As I'm being told that Joker and Mc Joker and Poison Ivy's match has been moved to next week because because of the fact that the women's tag team titles are going to be on the line on the card. But obviously, nobody knows who yet. Double super kick. If you manage to, uh, here we go, in the cover. One, and a break up. You got, Larry would have had the on over there close enough to be the other one to the ropes. It is, but you know, it's not going to last long. Yeah. Then the yeah, nothing like really shocks me more in this than what type people are gonna go through in in this type of stuff. Obviously, if you lose the title now, you're going to be guaranteed a spot for that title at Golden Clash. 
because obviously in Golden Clash every title is going to be on the line and that's basically what it's going to be just non-stop title matches for that show it's just only going to be title matches at Golden Clash because that's the night where every title is on the line and now granted and yes, obviously, as you guys may have noticed, Mr. and Mrs. Money in the Bank, Jason and Kodika, still have their briefcases. So therefore, they could cash in at any time, because cash in is on. They do have cash in on, so they're able to cash in their briefcase in order, in order to get it. Punch to the gut. Another punch. As the Rhea's driver, or is, or is, if, or you want to put the Grimmery, the Grimmery driver. Two. Ooh, a two count. A two count. Okay. But yeah, obviously. This is, what the fuck Dynamite, Season 2, Episode 1. Now you may be asking, well why is the other season so short? If you add up every, anim every part, if you count every part as one episode, and usually those, p it will take up like, pay-per-views will take up like three, like three, four parts. Pay-per-views alone will take up like, four, like three parts, and sometimes shows will take up three parts. That's like three, and I did like six or seven episodes, so six times three is eighteen. And then you plus the a couple of anime, I, I mean, a couple of pay per views we did. All together, it's about twenty five almost, you know, as it stands. Obviously, as as it stands I've there's there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming obviously a couple of debuts and a couple of mix reactions in this as obviously since Obviously, since I have a match this week, next week, the tag team titles will be on the line against the against the team. Obviously, against Bullet Club, against God. Obviously, they get a tag title opportunity because we challenged them. We said. Okay, we see what you done before you came to aid, uh, before you came to what the fuck dynamite, and now here on WTF Dynamite, we're we're gonna give you a chance to fight for it. We want to give you a shot immediately. Some people accepted it, and some people didn't. One, two, ooh. But no, like, let's see what that happens. Here we go though on the card. But what some people don't fail to realize is that everybody is saying, well, what the heck does WTF mean? Obviously, this goes what it stands for, what the fuck dynamite. Obviously, I'm not going to spell it directly out like it say, what the fuck. So therefore, I'm just going to go ahead and say, oh yeah, it's WTF Dynamite. 
And a lot of people are like, oh, well, what happens in the show? And pretty much anybody can appear. Whether it's from anime, movies, TV shows, books, etc. They're gonna, it's gonna, like, for real. Like, every week, you can, you can try to at least expect something or someone's gonna happen. Ooh, two and a half count. But, in the same sense, that's how that is. Because you never know, you could, we could have one day, we could have like, just say, okay, we're going to have Detective Pikachu show up. Then the next day, we could have like, fucking Sasuke appear. That's what that all WTF Dynamite is for those who are new and just subscribed to the channel. For those who have subscri new, f just subscribed to the channel, that's what WTF Dynamite is all about. Is that you're taking your... Is that some of your favorites could be... In here. But yeah, as it stands, obviously I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go to, you know, and obviously as I'm going to just hear, as obviously I'm just trying to, But you know, obviously, as it is. Just carrying the position here. But yeah, as it stands right now, that's all the heck I was doing was deleting comments off of the one video that was spam. If you try to, if you spam something on on here, it's gonna get deleted. Now granted <laughs> Now granted what the heck it is Is that one Again like some of these matches But yeah, obviously as it is. She returns the favor there. Obviously there's certain parts of the things that are gonna be acceptable and isn't acceptable though. But yeah, obviously as it is. But no, nah, like as it is. It's only gonna be a matter of time before certain certain effects happen on certain people here. As obviously, as you guys may have known, everything that happened with title changes back then and stuff happens again. She's 
Ooh, it was a three count there as <coughs> some people of how the heck that is. There is a, only a few people that in this company whose titles have changed and it wasn't even really that much. It, the YouTube title changed twice because obviously Chelsea had it, lost it, won it back. Chris Danger had it, lost it, won it back. Oh, and don't worry, Danger, your matchup is already secure for Golden Clash as da as Naruto has asked for his rematch at Golden Clash coming up in a, in like two or three weeks. I, it's pretty much like sometime this month, basically. And the win, one, two, but no. And obviously Chelsea, the former YouTube champion, has requested the match, has your your match at Golden Clash is also confirmed when the the former champion gets their rematch also. Now granted But yeah, obviously. One, two. It's not going to be enough until. One, two, as they break it up. One, two, and I kick out. But yeah, obviously, obviously, uh, as it works, is that. That's that, uh, but but yeah, obviously. No, granted. And the grammar. Oh, the grammar. The Grimmery punt, like seriously. But as a lot of people need to realize, is that you? Ooh, no, you're not gonna get it unless you manage to take out the other person. And it is obviously in this decent match, which yet again, it's still the second match. Could it steal the show, or is it gonna be a nail biter? Because granted, 
Let's how the heck it is. Obviously... Of course. Even if this match ends in count out, like usually if we have a count out, we usually restart the match, but But in certain matches we just let it go because we have probably have like a certain amount of, amount of matches to film. So therefore, <laughs> I'm just gonna let it slide if it happens sometimes. Six. Seven. Eight. As I never get, I like, I get it. You, the one rest, the one person breaks the count. It shouldn't have to matter for the other person whether or not they've got it or not. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Wow, a nine count. Okay, I mean, you know, as it is. But yeah, as it stands right now. But nah. Ooh. Will it be? One. No, it's not going to be two, because you have to take out you have the tag team. You can't just assume, oh, well, you know, that's that or that's this. Yeah, the yeah, y'all don't have it. No. <laughs> you still have other teammates to worry out for. Now, granted, next month, when we go, next, obviously next month, will be another pay-per-view. As ever, ever. Oh, as everybody three as R Ram and Ram move have won the match. Next month will be Hell's Gate, where every matchup will be inside Hell in a Cell. Oh yeah, those matches are gonna be inside Hell in a Cell. All right, a decent match as it is. A hard fought victor a hard fought back and forth hitting match. I have a, I have a thing to worry about though. Will Will it happen though? Like next week, is it was that an indication to come why Rhea didn't break it up? What did Rhea should say, yeah, you're gonna you're, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight you next week, so therefore I'm gonna cost us the match. I don't know. As we stand up here right now, as everybody's favorite extreme one, the sumo will be taking on another debuter. Next week, Sumo will be taking on a debut superstar from this episode. But obviously, somebody's got actually light is in a match later on. So is L. As Though But no, uh, it's gonna be all together It's gonna be Venom because you know obviously 
Venom, is, Venom, Venom already stated exactly straight out. Oh, well, you're gonna go after that? Obviously, it's gonna be for the Hardcore Championship because if you, if Venom manages to beat the Sumo, he'll go on and at Golden Clash will get a shot at the United States title. But, but he's gonna have to manage to beat him. Obviously, anything could happen, anything could appear in the type of matchup. But yeah, obviously what the heck happened with certain people though in in it It is all funny games until certain things happen. Yeah, we know we know announcer as obviously Venom's coming out to the ring. As Venom's coming out Uh oh. The Holy Maniacs are going wild for the Sumo! My god, it's gotta be the Sumo! You! 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 So far as Sumo, the longest reigning hardcore champion because hardly anybody's reigning. Oh shit. Sumo, watch out. Venom. Venom's gonna come out behind you. Just checking out this match early. You. You. What the fu- wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, is this a staring contest or a ladder match? Like, what the fuck? What's going on here? Uh, can I restart the match? Thank you! <laughs> no, because I'm just standing there like, what the fuck? I can't have a match with them just standing there. But no, you ain't gonna beat the sumo that easily because of the sumo. If you ever seen a sumo match, sumo is gonna go is fucking insane. That's why the sumo is the hardcore champion because nobody ever fucked with the sumo. You. Yeah, but can you we be able to climb the ladder now? Uh oh, sumo! I told you the sumo is gonna be fucking insane. You ain't gonna go for a ladder because seriously, ladder, 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 ladder. 
No, obviously. But no. That's how it is. As obviously, it's too much to be the first one to grab the ladder. Oi. 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 Oh. <laughs> As you know, Venom, you have him down. Go for the fucking dial, dude. But, uh. But yet again, I, I'm i just apparently the owner, so because apparently it's not just me the owner here, because I do compete also. Yeah, but is Venom going to do it? Is Venom staggering already? The super was like, no. You know. <laughs> you know. No, you. <laughs> oh shit! Someone's costing the sumo. Wait, is he going after the sumo? Or is he gonna go after Venom? Oh my god, Samoa Joe's going after the sumo. Oh shit! Is that? So, is, does it have to be the sumo for Samoa Joe? Samoa Joe might be here to save his claim against the sumo. As as Sumo just got rocked, I mean, is it gonna happen here? Will the Sumo lose his hardcore title? You as Venom is gonna go ahead and take it down. Who is? But now. Uh, no, I just stand right now. You never know with the sumo, though. It can basically be how it is. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. But yeah, a lot of people, as you know, obviously Venom's gonna think that he yeah, he can take it out. No, Venom, you're not because you wanna know why? The title's gonna be the Sumos. The Sumos not gonna let down that hardcore title that easily. He's he's the type of person to say, yeah, um, no, you're not taking my hardcore title from me. As your winner and still hardcore champion, the Sumo, which raises the question Is he gonna be. Is he gonna want Samoa Joe next week? We're gonna have to find out the Sumo. And still hardcore champion, the Sumo. It just raises the question. As now, we're here for a mixed tag team match as me and Hannah are going to be teaming up. AKA Bliss for. AKA, AKA I can't remember yours, damn it. <laughs> I had it in my head as I was saying it, okay, and then I just can't say it. But yeah, obviously, hoi, and you know. As me and Hannah are going to be taking on the team of...
Where's Hidat? Oh, where's H? Oh, Hinata. Whoops, not Hinata. But Hinata is is it gonna be an action now. Hinata will be an action now. I just want. I was thinking about later, another match afterwards, but but no, it's gonna be Rosemary and. And Jigsaw, as you guys may, as you know, it's just all... Actually, Jigsaw picked Rosemary as her partner. And, of course, Rosemary's like, anything I can to make a claim and get closer towards the top title, you had me there. Obviously, you again, anything could happen because it's not just, oh... Well, we could destroy you here, we could destroy you there, because anything could appear. Now, granted, certain people are probably like, what the fuck's happening? Like, you're just spilling out matches and not even giving, like, promos or time to, like, talk and shit. Here, if we talk, or if somebody wants to do a backstage promo, yet again, they just tell me or whatever, but, like, seriously. Now, granted, anything's an endless possibility. There could be a match, there could not be a match, who knows? But yeah, obviously, as I said, still to come, obviously I said earlier, Toga, Himoko Toda, will be in action against the United States Champion. And the match that she chose for that match is a sumo contest. Obviously, that's going to be still to come tonight, along with the six-man tag team match and, you know, a couple other matches. Yep, and here we are, you know. Hannah's tag team partner and one half of the tag team champions. And, you know, it's ya boy. It's me. Gotta show the crowd, cause I live for the crowd and OI! One half of the tag team champions. I'm still one of the tag team champions. As that's how the heck that works. Obviously, you know, certain things could have here, certain things didn't, don't have to happen so far. And obviously, that is Jigsaw, because you know, Jigsaw's coming out good with the ominous lighting, and here we go. Rosemary and Hannah will kick it off, and let's do it! Is it gonna get weird? <laughs> I mean, but you know, as it is, as uh, straight to the head. But yeah.
But granted, I mean, you know, as everything is in the WTF Dynamite Universe, we, we'll just bring the dynamite to anything and anywhere. Obviously, though, Hellsgate is going to try to be in hell, obviously. So, you know. So, obviously, because we're going to try to do it in hell. As that's what the heck we're going to do for hell, is, you know, that directly. But yeah, granted, anything could happen. But yeah. Yeah, it says right now, you know, I'm just there chilling until either Rosemary or Hannah decides to tag either me or Jigsaw in. No, 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 you're not going to get hit that easily. But yeah, obviously the next match to come will be the Women's IC title match. As obviously Hannah's going to try to... Jigsaw's gonna try to take me out. But yet again, that's not even what's gonna happen. You're not he's not gonna beat me. Nice running cross body. One. Yeah, I was sort of grinding that down. But yet again, it's just going to be a quick, simple match, because you know, that's how that gets going to work. Damn, like for real. <laughs> 